all right guys how's it going um today i'm gonna show you guys how to basically f uh mix your your e85 if you're gonna run a e50 mix or e40 mix or maybe even maybe even the e30 mix um so obviously it's basic math sometimes so so if you're gonna be mixing gas let's say for example i'm gonna do e50 which would be 50 percent gas 50 percent ethanol i for sure want the gas gauge to be you know at least 50 percent or lower that way i can at least mix 50 percent um but i would recommend maybe doing like a quarter that way whatever mix you want it'll calculate it um so i specifically have a app already because i have a e85 uh detector thing inside that actually detects exactly how much e i have um so right now i'm on pump gas 91 it'll detect i have exactly e11 mix right now ethanol content that's how much i have right now i would say in california it's about e10 there's about 10 percent ethanol in uh gas usually so going based off of that you go to a calculator now this one comes integrated in this app so it makes it a bit easier but they have a lot of other apps like this right here e85 calculator and i feel like the easiest one would be this one right here e85 cal this one's super easy setup all right so as we can see this is the other app i use um let me go back it's e85 cal uh, this one's pretty cool so gas tank size you can easily google that up my 135 is a 14 gallon tank uh, pump gas ethanol like I said 10% is usually the amount so you put 10 in there uh, ethanol at the pump uh, I've already tested this E85 station and usually I want to say I'm in California I would say the majority of them are E85 but you can buy like a little tiny beaker and mix them yourself yeah mix it yourself and then test each gas pump you go to but I would say the majority of them that I've been to I've already done this before so they're E85 um, and then target ethanol mix uh, I want an E50 mix so we're gonna put that we want a E50 mix 50% mix and current ethanol current ethanol mix we're gonna put 10 because you know that's how much we have and the current fuel level uh, this is a this is where it gets a little bit tricky like 50% but luckily my car has little ticks so basically each tick is 5 so 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 about 40 about 40 percent so we're gonna put it on 40 right there and we click done and it should say right here that it ethanol to add 7.47 gallons and pump gas to add basically a gallon and if I compare this to uh, this one right here which basically uh, let's see calculator and then what we want is if E50 mix uh, current in the tank that reads it automatically from the device estimated pump ethanol obviously 85 uh, current fuel level is 40 just like the other one 40 and it ends up being about the same as you can see seven gallons and one gallon the thing I like about this one is that it's a bit more precise but at the same time you don't really know exactly how full your tank is I mean this gives you a rough, rough estimate but for the most part just round up or down I would say round up to be exact so um go ahead and use this and i'll show you guys how to pump it exactly in the pump i mean it's pretty basic from what you guys can see the calculations and everything but for the most part you're going to pump in seven gallons of 85 one gallon of gas basically and then once we're done with that i'm gonna flash it specifically on this bmw uh you could be doing this on a mustang or something or who knows what um but yeah i'm gonna then flash it and then i'll be on an e50 uh, stage 2 plus map and that should be it So depending on which app you're using, you know you choose I mean that's how much you pump so seven gallons of e85. Let's see what we're at right now We are Yay! at Six So we're just gonna stop it right at we hit seven So there we go, I went a little bit over but that's okay So just gonna take it out
took it out, right? And now we're gonna, you know, insert the card again, whatever, and pump 91 and only a gallon. All right, so I just paid for the second one, lift the handle, select 91. And we're just gonna let it go by itself until it clicks because by then it should be at a gallon and it should be 100% full. Then again, this isn't gonna be 100% exact, so it might go over a little bit or might go under a little bit, but we'll see right now. And it looks like it's going, oh damn. Almost two gallons, so the calculations were a little bit off, but but you guys will see that it really only affects it ever so little as long as you're pretty close. Oh, here we are. We hooked up the MHD. This is specifically for my BMW, I guess. All right, so right here you can select which one you want. This right here is for oh my god. This one right here is for California users. This first one. The 91, 92, 93, whatever you want. You want E50, it's a little bit blocked out right here, but E50 stage two. Then I already want my custom stuff on here. Like I don't want to change anything else. So we're just gonna map right. And it's just gonna flash. I think it takes a few minutes just because I still have this. I still have the cable, so. All right guys, so we just filled it up all the way. The sensor is on. Some of you guys not, might, might not have this, but I'll show you guys that you guys should just baby it for a while until uh the mix mix is pretty good and you'll see that it does take a while for it to mix pretty good and get to the you know to the rail basically so right now i'm gonna baby it but you guys will see over the next you know few minutes or i think it's like you have to give it quite a while you know for it to actually mix up but you'll see it'll slowly start to go up and our goal you know is to get to e50 but uh, the calculation was a bit off, so it might be like E49, E53 or something like that. But we'll see right now. We'll just give it some time to, you know, mix up good and see where it goes. So as you can see, it's starting to actually move up. E36. I'm swaying the car a little bit, trying to mix it up a little more. E40. That's pretty good. You see, I'm literally moving like a side, side to side, trying to really mix it up. E45. I think I'm gonna bust the U-turn here. Maybe not. E47. All right, so I've been driving it for quite a while now, and looks like it's stuck at E48. So, like I said, the mix was a bit off. Um, actually, it's E47 now. Uh-oh. Well, either way. Uh, it's not that off either way the tune I'm using is pretty much you know an off-the-shelf tune So it, it, I'm pretty sure it has some leniency. It doesn't have to be exactly E50 um, But as you can see it is off a little bit So the calculation probably was gonna be right if I let uh, If I actually controlled it and stopped it before like right at the one gallon, I think But it's okay because I can always go to the gas station in a little bit and I can always add a little bit more E85 that's because I have the ethanol sensor but for the most part it's pretty it's pretty close and I think it should be fine like this but yeah that's pretty much it that's how you mix up your E85 make sure to like the video if it helped you out um, subscribe follow me on Instagram and see you guys